Dear friends, good morning. Welcome to Coffee with God. And I am Father Jose. Let us begin this day with the word of God and a short reflection. May the Holy Spirit illumine our hearts and minds and burn us with the fire of God's love. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 13 verses 1 to 9. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. About that time some people came up and told him about the Galileans Pilate had killed while they were at worship mixing their blood with the blood of the sacrifices on the altar. Jesus responded, "Do you think those murderers Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans? Not at all. Unless you turn to God, you too will die." And those 18 in Jerusalem the other day, the ones crushed and killed when the tower of Siloam collapsed and fell on them. Do you think they were worse citizens than all other Jerusalemites? Not at all. Unless you turn to God, you too will die. Then he told them a story. A man had an apple tree planted in his front yard. He came to it expecting to find apples, but there weren't any. He said to his gardener, "What's going on here? For 3 years now I've come to this tree expecting apples and not one apple have I found. Chop it down. Why waste good ground with it any longer?" The gardener said, "Let's give it another year. I'll dig around it and fertilize, and maybe it will produce next year. If it doesn't, then chop it down." Reflections on the Gospel according to Saint Luke, chapter thirteen, verses one to nine. Since twenty fourth of February, Russia has declared war against Ukraine. News media have brought us stories of deaths of hundreds of civilians, including pregnant women and children. Pope Francis personally went up to the Russian embassy in Rome to dissuade Russia from going ahead with the war. He had called on the faithful for prayer and fasting for peace. The Polish Catholics took to the streets, kneeling on the stone pavements and praying the rosary. But despite the prayers of millions of people worldwide the aggressors march ahead destroying lives and livelihood In today's gospel two tragic events are reported a cruel suppression carried out by Roman soldiers in the temple and the collapse of the tower of Siloam in Jerusalem which resulted in 18 deaths These tragedies could potentially lead to two reactions from the superstitious Jews first they could misinterpret the incidents and believe that it was god's punishment for some grave sin they had committed as if to say they deserved it the second reaction could be cultivating feelings of violence vengeance and resentment against the roman oppressors jesus however refuses to buy the misinterpretations of the Jewish leadership he knows that aggression anger hatred and desire for revenge are useless and counterproductive wars are no solution for peace god does not allow tragedies to punish people for their sins seeing certain misfortunes and sorrowful events in history we too are tempted to blame god for allowing them to happen However, the gospel invites us to reflect, what is our idea of God? Are we truly convinced that God wants his children to suffer? The problem is, we have made an image of a God according to our idea and likeness. Today, Jesus's call to conversion is a call to change our way of thinking and to give up our stubbornness. Unfortunately, often times we behave like the tree in the parable of Jesus. Despite the grace of God, we refuse to be productive. However, fortunately for us, Jesus is the farmer who with his limitless patience still obtains a concession for the fruitless vine. Leave it alone this year, he said to the owner. We shall see if it bears fruit next year. This one year is an year of grace the period of Christ's mercy offered to us as occasions of repentance and salvation the invincible patience of Jesus 
during the time of lent the lord invites us to convert each of us must correct something in our lives in our way of thinking behaving and living our relationship with others have you thought about the patience of god have you ever thought as well of his limitless concerns for sinners it is never too late to convert god's patience awaits us until the last moment